All right, man, listen, y'all already know what time it is, man. It's that boy, Deadly, back out here with another video. As y'all can see, about a title below today. Listen, bro, we are now reacting to Narwar versus King Carson. We're going to see what this shit is talking about. We just reacted to the Destroy Lonely shit. This nigga Narwar be doing some crazy ass shit, bro. As we saw, how you know about pillow fighting in a mall? Like, that is the most random shit that I've ever heard from a Narwar video. Like, how the hell do you know about that shit? But look at it, if you're the channel, make sure like, I'm subscribed for new. You feel me? For 17 minutes, 31 seconds. Let's go. Talk to me. We can skip all this. We can skip all this. We can skip all this. Let go. Who are you? I'm Ken Carson. Ken Carson, welcome to Coachella. What's up? What's up, Coachella? Ocella? And Ken, who do you have beside you right there? Got my boy Long. Yes, sir. He got a new one. He calls himself Baby Money. He got the back Black American. Show him, show him what name. Uh, yeah. Yeah. At Coachella 2024. Music. Yes, sir. And right off the bat, Ken, I have a gift for you from 2009 oh, yeah, featuring Juice, man. Gucci Man, Soulja Boy, everybody shot low, OJ Ju Man. What can you say about that? Like if you open it up, Shawty Low, he's from my area. Mm -hmm. He from the west side, man. That boy Shiloh from Bankhead. I'm sure a lot of people know how that to my thigh. Yeah, yeah. What was it like in that era? I'm sure everybody know, like, look. You know, like, <laughs> this That's all you got to do is look. Shit tough, shit rough, just like another hood. Ken Astronaut. All right. Uh, Ew, bro. <laughs> what the hell is that's Ken Astronaut? Shit. That's that my old Twitter, right? That my old Twitter, right? Come on, bro. Why you saying nothing? You want me? No, I want to What? You ain't know you to tell us, pal. Yeah. Me, myself, and Ken. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, pa. <laughs> no, pa. No, pa. I think that was my kick name. I had hoes on kick. Been having hoes on kick. Kick with. Yeah. Hey, bro. Listen, the kick days was lit. I ain't gonna lie to you, man. Go up to the baby like, what's your kick? That's all you need. That's all you need. That's all you need right there. That's all you need right there. You get the kick, you're locked in. That's all I gotta say. Been having my hoes on kick. Yeah, give a bit of context. Uh, me, myself, and Cash, that was my old Instagram. That was my old kick name. And that's just how I felt, like. And Ken, I was also wondering what exactly is going on in this photo. Where the hell he find right that? Here. <laughs> that my boy Dreek, man. We had the we had the game stop. What are you looking I for? Had, I, I ain't even had Xbox at the time. I had the motherfucking I had the P more the P three motherfucking. I think. PS3. Yeah, I think I had the PS three. And we I've was never right owned here. the PS three. We I've had. I still got my Xbox original. I had a Xbox. Or, no, I had a PS two first. Then I had a Xbox original. Then I had a 360. Then I got the Xbox One. Then I got the PS4. Then I got the PS5. And I bought like three PS5s. <laughs> this shit don't make no sense. Oh, man. What do you think about Max? Max Payne? Oh, bro, I ain't gonna lie. That's one of my favorite movies. Like, I know everybody like the game, mm -hmm. but like the movie though, Mark Wahlberg, he went crazy. What about wrestling? WWE? Yes, SmackDown sir. versus Rock. I was playing that shit every day. Which bro. one though? Like, every day. Which one? Faithfully. Like how niggas be Which one? Play. All that streaming shit. I would have been went up if they had that shit. SmackDown versus Rock. I would have had that shit right up. It, it depends which one you talking about though. The best one for me is between 2007 and 2008. 2007 and 2008 SmackDown versus Raw. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That shit was it, bro. That and shit was I it. I have a gift for you right here. Speaking of wrestling, yeah, the wrestling man. album. Yeah. What the hell? Yeah, man. From 1985, possibly that you could sample, too. Yo, I don't know nobody but this nigga, bro. Vince McMahon. Uh, check out. Right. It folds out, actually. It's a duck. Can't talk too much about his uh But you already know what the hell going on with Vince. If you know, you know. Can't, too, can't talk too much about that nigga. It's a gatefold. Get him off my screen. Him in the studio. That's hard. They, I remember they, they the was, wrestling album. It was recording. Yeah, that's a record. The Iron been, Sheik. I've probably been in the studio. And, and, ch and check it out. Like, check Roddy, out like, Roddy Piper. Drums and, oh, like, yeah. Oh, oh, 
Damn, that's crazy, bro. Yeah, and I, I never. What? So everybody got an album, basically. <laughs> that's crazy. Basically, everybody make music, bro. Cause I don't. You be putting me on, bro. I ain't even know y'all niggas was. Well, what was the first? What the first week sales? What was the first week sales? <laughs> <laughs> I think John Cena went platinum or some shit. Yeah, John Cena platinum. A lot of people, you know. My favorite rapper. Sorry, that boy John Cena. What do you think about music and wrestling? What do you think about wrestling games? Yeah, that was that was my favorite. I tell you, SmackDown versus yeah, yeah. Raw. Get on the stick. But playing them, like the difficulty level. You know, a lot of times I've hard times. For me? No, for me. You know, oh, you know, for me. You know, like that's a. Are they kind of hard to play? I kind of find some of the games. Nah, nah, nah. You gotta just, you gotta play all the time. So you, I'm sure you part time gaming. It ain't. You yeah, can't do that. That's why I don't play the game like that. What's part time though? What is full time like every day? Yeah. Bro, for every day, that shit every second, bro. Them games every hour. Gaming and when, if you're not a gamer and you get on the game, like you think you just finna get on the game and just and enjoy be good. yourself. Fuck no, not in, not in 2024. 20, Cumberland. Cumberland, Cumberland Mall. Mall, man. Cumberland Mall. Cumberland, bro. Cumberland Mall, yeah. He ain't even from Atlanta, though, five. <laughs> How the hell he Cumberland know? How Narwar yeah. know about that? Thank you, Caleb. What's that? I don't know. What's I that, know a Caleb? lot of Caleb, so I don't want to. Early inspiration for you. I don't want to. I don't want to get this wrong, though. I have a gift for you. The Sons, a Sons of, the of Pioneers. Pioneers record. Damn. And if we turn it over, the Sons of Pioneers, check out who recorded. Ben Carson, bro. What the bro, hell? Bro. <laughs> they, I remember. I remember when I first. Yes, bro. It's the first one. Yeah. From like the 80s, right? Uh, actually, the 60s or the 50s. Yeah, he played harmonica too. Jeez. I guess I'm. This who used to come up as on Google, bro. Oh, Bro. He's explaining it, bro. I usually come up as this nigga on Google, but he used to come up as me. That's wild. No, I just want to do that. No, bro. No, bro. That no. shit is funny as hell, bro. bro. Shout out Ken Carson, though, bro. But wouldn't it be great if Ken Carson sampled Ken Carson? Ken Carson would they clear it? Well, I oh, think yeah, maybe Ken Carson thing. has Shout passed away. Samples. When they don't clear him, I'm gonna say nah. Oh no, no, don't bring me up. Don't bring me up. It's coming out show budget for whatever you. Yes. Uh, it'll be amazing sample though. I'm gonna say nah. They're not clearing the sample. What we gonna do? We gonna spend your money. He was a country singer, a cowboy as well in movies. Ken Carson. A vampire, the total opposite. That's the only thing about them samples. Bino. Only thing about them samples, man. They don't be clear. Shit, especially if they old samples. They'll sue your ass if you drop the goddamn song. They ain't gonna sue you when you first drop it. They gonna wait for you to go platinum off that shit. Then, well, in movies, listen, Ken sue Carson, the fuck out your ass. The total opposite. You produced Bino. Mm -hmm. What's it like being a producer? Because you know I shoot all those producer records. That shit a mix. That shit. A fuck I forgot he produces Bino. Artist. Don't, but choose your. I don't. It's rare. You got rare niggas like Kanye and like. You got a lot of people who make their own shit, but I feel like, me personally, bro, I rather lock in on the recording side like being on the mic because okay. i feel like beat i'm taking up time where i could be on the mic and i'm also taking the money away from my producers i'm not getting away of that like today i'll make a beat with a producer and not even not even like claim that i take even credit made a beat. i feel uh, it you first met or encountered cardi that's, when that's you were a 12? w shit it was w. yeah i think you were in the studio how did that happen salsa high salsa high at away mafia shit what was it like being in there, like being in the studio? Sure, like, sure, how sure. did you interact when you were so young? That must have been amazing. You gotta look up a, you gotta look up a twelve year old, then look up Atlanta twelve year old, and you'll get the whole shit. It, it's the difference. Quote: You bought her a bag. I bought her some chips. <laughs> how did you meet Starboy out of town? That's quite amazing. All right, all right. So Shout out Starboy. during the meet, so me like when I was with like Southside and TM88. TM88 already was like, they already had people that they fought with, and I just fought with whoever they fought with. But out of town, I used to call him. He from both of them from Amsterdam. I mean, I knew out of town first, and I used to call him like four five in the morning, like, bro, I need some beats. Like for like years straight, he knowing like nothing's coming out, but like years straight, asking him that, then he introduced me to Starboy, and then they was start reciprocating the energy. They Starboy was like, W producer. In what I was doing. And it was like paying for everything. His music, though, I gotta get used to. Shout out to my OT. I love them. Insane beats, like hyper pop. Insane. Yeah, yeah. 
and Legion from Canada, me and my cup. Yep, I just talked to Legion the other day. Shout out Legion. Canada, I love Canada. Mm, I love Canada too. The, the women. Quote, floor out to the saint, I ain't talking the Ronde. Ooh. I like that boy. What that is? I like that boy. What song? Which song? Jennifer's Body. Jennifer's Body. 99% accurate. Damn. 15% accurate. I ain't gonna lie, I like that. And speaking of Jennifer's Body, I have a gift for you, East winding Bay up. Punk. A DVD, the story of East Bay Punk, executive produced by Green Day. Damn. Wow. What song's on here? Hold up. It's the whole entire story of Green Day and how they came up. Their scene, East Bay Punk Rock. The Blu-ray edition for you, because you love Green Day. You love that whole scene. What gives you about Ken Carson and Green Day? Bro, you're a nice person. So that boy Billy reached out. I like that. Narrated by the legend Iggy Pop as well. So it's a DVD for you to watch. You what, can, what can I play this on, though? I can play this on my PS5. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> don't uh, I you know, don't even know no more. PS5 got Blu-ray. They still you can play uh DVDs off that shit. I know with the the I think Xbox One. It's either 360 or Xbox One. You can watch movies and shit off that shit with the disc. The DVD. People be leaving this shit in the rapper file. The cool shit. I'm like the total opposite. <clears throat> I'm I'm using everything that I get. What me up here? What do you think about that meme? Getting a haircut. You and destroy getting a haircut. Oh shit, that shit was funny. I know, what they're, I know what they're talking about. I know what they're talking about. What you wanted us to do? <laughs> when you get a haircut, what was... I, we be doing a lot of normal shit, and people would be like, "Yeah." You wore on stage a Spider-Man backpack. Oh yes, 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 yes. Somebody threw the back bling up. I put it on. That was, I think, it was either London or Paris. It was, I think it was Paris. It was definitely Paris. And I have a gift for you. Oh, that's a Spider-Man seven inch. Yeah. A what? From nineteen seventy-four. A seven inch vinyl release. A seven inch okay. vinyl. Yeah, we clarified it. Yeah. What the hell? Nigga said seven Bro, inch. Spider Man, my favorite superhero. What you mean? Toby McGuire. You feel me? I ain't gotta speak on too much, Sam Rap. Toby McGuire, Andrew, uh, what's the name? Last name? Garfield? Yes, Toby and Andrew, Toby and Andrew, the the new nigga, the British nigga that that was getting that. Y'all know what I'm talking about. After the whole Zendaya shit, which that movie dropped next week, I believe. That nigga, the new Spider Man, he ain't it, bro. I don't give a fuck what niggas say. He is the worst Spider Man I ever seen ever in my fucking life, ever. My favorites though, favorite superheroes. I'll say, damn. Mm. Spider Man and Iron Man tied for one. And then third, I'll say Batman. And speaking of MF Doom, sampled by MF Doom as well Damn. for the Bells of Doom release. Damn. Damn. So that's a gift for you as well. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. I'm gonna sample some of this shit for real, but. And what was going on here? I wanna tell y'all what was really going on. You remember X Days? Bro, it was X Days, bro. Not X, but if you know, you know. This is literally the prime example. This is Teen X. That's all I'm gonna say. It's Teen X. What class? Cooking class was not cooking. I know it's cooking. Look at the food and shit in the back on the wall. And if we turn it over, this is where it all started, right? Oh. Yo, I said Drizzy dropped another unofficial disc. Let me check goddamn Twitter. Oh, that's fucking crazy. I never noticed this tweet till right now. Ain't no fucking way. Y'all boys better meet TM88, man. That's different, bro. Yes, bro. That's crazy. This nigga is trending. That's fuck, bro. That's different. Diabolical for well, using Tupac to this I met these folks and did my, I worked my one. The date on it. Yeah. 2015. And what about being on Google? Like, Google Maps? Like, there's a thing about you guys yeah, on Google? The Balenci store. Bro. That's crazy. That's crazy, bro. Man. That's crazy, bro. Yeah, that's, could you explain bro. that? Every proof of us is, like, real. Like, you seen that? Like that was what we doing. You see everything. Damn, I'm not even paying attention, but he dead ass dropped another disc. DJ Academic is talking about that shit right now. I'm gonna have to definitely check that shit out after uh these two videos. Well, after this one. In real life, Balenciaga store like that wasn't nothing out of the ordinary. 
That's crazy. That's though. pretty wild, isn't it? Somebody discovered you on Google Maps. How did that happen? I'm about to show you some crazy, yo. This is how my brain works. I remember that specific time and day, bro. We was in Germany. We both had just got off the plane, linked up at the store. It's probably like 4 p.m. We just out there five in it. We couldn't even imagine that niggas like Google car or whatever. But I remember that. That was like probably like last like year, same year. time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a year ago. That was a year ago. And winding up here, another gift what for the you. What the fuck? Right here, a Rob Zombie Dragula. <laughs> Yes, yeah, sir. I was wait, bro. I ain't gonna lie. If you wasn't gonna say nothing about Rob Zombie, I probably would have like, I probably would have reported your video, bro. <laughs> as uh, fraudulent. Yeah, bro. Yes, bro. I really appreciate this, Rob Zombie. You know how he said uh, the like first movie you remember? Yeah, I remember the fucking the DVD things you could flip up and it was portable, bro. The first fucking movie like I locked in on it was like 2008 or nine, Halloween, bro. And that's what just made me start like actually reading the credits of movies and like looking into what's going on in the movies. Fall in love with Halloween. I used to pull up on him and we watching it. All of them. Every single one, every day. Like that shit became my favorite movie off there. Watching like 31 and like Halloween. And that's a gift for you, Rob Zombie, the Dragula Funko edition. Yeah, bro, Rob Zombie tap in. Shoot my, do my album cover or something. You That'd did a video hard. with Cole Bennett. Mm -hmm. What was it like Shout getting the Cole camera so Bennett. close? It was really close camera. Why well, I gotta be paused, bro? It ain't even like that. God damn. He did a video it ain't with how Cole he Bennett. He explained it, bro. He, <laughs> bro. he was boosting. He was boosting for show. He was boosting for show. The camera didn't do nothing crazy. <laughs> what happened there exactly? Could you explain to the people? Uh, I don't know. I, what happened? We were shooting the video. Shit, fuck. It turned out, though. Yeah, it's amazing. I love that video. Shout out, Cole. And you were at Grave Digger Mountain recently. Yeah, that's my wife. Shout out, YB, double O, fucking Trey. What sort of vibe did you get at the Grave Digger Mountain? Like, I have another gift for you. Some SpongeBob. Yes, uh, was it a SpongeBob vibe? Uh, yes, bro. This is my... Bro, to this day... I, okay, so I got YouTube TV, right? And YouTube TV got like a lot of fucking channels. And bro, I ain't never got, had YouTube you, TV. When I come home from the studio, it's like not even a trail. Seven, eight, because I'm in there all night. And they'll be playing SpongeBob. Bro, they play SpongeBob all night, bro. Fun I, fact, I don't even watch TV, y'all. I, I don't watch shit. Like, I can't sit down and watch some shit. It just don't work. I just can't do it. I can't do it. I can watch one episode or something and never come back to it. Because I don't be having time to watch TV. It just don't, I just, it, it don't resonate with me, bro. I be, Not no more. I wouldn't even be surprised if, as soon as I go home, this episode, like, is on. I wouldn't even be surprised. But that's your vibe. SpongeBob was the shit back there, though. I was wondering, uh, bring that vibe to Grave yeah. Digger Mountain. What was the SpongeBob vibe there? Nigga, it wasn't no SpongeBob vibe at Grave Digger Mountain. <laughs> <laughs> what? No, I just, but. What, the, bro? Nah, hell nah. It wasn't no SpongeBob type shit. We didn't even watch no. It wasn't no motherfucking TV on. We was recording the whole time. Ken, anything else you'd like to add to the people out there at all? Uh, don't let don't let nobody tell you that you that you can't like. Thanks. Like nothing is out of reach, bro. Nothing Thanks. is out of sight. Nothing is out of mind, bro. Do whatever the fuck you want to do because you could be the first one to do something, or you could be the last one to do it. Why mm, should people care about? That's good motivation right there. Why that's good motivation. Care? Uh, I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't, I wouldn't really would it give a shit. Well, thanks so much, Ken Carson. Keep <laughs> Why on. Why you say it like that? I'm lying, I'm lying, I'm lying, I'm lying. I'm lying. Why you, you know? say it like that? <laughs> I'm lying. I'm cool, bro. I'll be chilling. I like scary movies. I like SpongeBob. You ain't got to worry about me unless you got a beautiful girlfriend. So, so yeah. You feel me? If you know, I know I chill. <laughs> Why be, why be, why be, why be shit, why be that shit, why we game? Double O five, double O four K Trey, double O big double. Well, thanks so much, Ken. Keep on rocking in the free world and do 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 do. do, do, do. Huh, huh. Yeah. <laughs> this thing's a, huh, huh. Part two, bro. All right, say less. What do you do this time?
Put shades on his hair. Hell no. <laughs> <laughs> bro, this nigga Narwhal are funny as hell, bro. But quick question. Quick question for everybody that's going to be watching this video after and for whoever in the stream. Who do y'all fuck with more? King Carson or Destroy Lonely? This is how I feel and somebody made a good point. Two people made a good point. Because I said on Instagram that Destroy Lonely was better than King Carson. But it seems like every time they release, it's it's like some friendly competition going on. Like one always one-ups the other on some shit. When Lonely dropped, the shit was fire. When Ken dropped the album, the shit was crazy. You see what I'm saying? Like they always one up in each other. Even with the singles, the single that I heard when he when uh Destroy Lonely performed at Coachella, bro, one of them goddamn snippets was fire as hell, bro. And I think that's the song that we get in next month, I believe. So I will be reacting to it. So make sure I come back to the channel. But other than that, man, these two niggas fire as hell together. I'm gonna say it again. I need an opium album. <laughs> I need an opium album. I'm going to keep begging for the opium album until I get that shit. I might start a goddamn petition for that shit. That nigga Cardi ain't going to fall through with this shit. He, we already lucky enough that this man, uh, King, uh, this man Playboy Cardi don't let Ken Carson and Destroy Lonely off the leash to even fuck with Nard or. <laughs> y'all know, y'all know that man Playboy Cardi be having these niggas on a leash. Uh, these niggas on a leash but hey man let me know what you think about the video down below in the comments hopefully y'all enjoyed the video if you didn't mention go like us comment subscribe if you need to more videos coming some more content coming soon y'all already know what time it is man let me know if i should react to some more nara war in the future man but hey man make sure you follow the kick follow the twitch and also join the discord down below in the description but hey man it's being boy that boy deli oh i'm gone man